On Sulawesi Island, a vacationing family film as the ocean bursts into flames. Hollywood pyrotechnics expert Matt Kutcher believes Indonesian authorities could be testing a secret flame weapon that incinerates invading armies as they approach its shores. Okay, and light it. Here we go. Nice. The flames burn on the water, but Kutcher needs to replicate ocean conditions to make the flames match what's seen in the original clip. All right, make some waves. You see how it's pushing it? That's exactly what we saw in the video. Look at that. See how it curls over? The flames continue to burn despite the waves. Any enemy soldier attempting a landing on the shore would be engulfed by fire. The fire we created looked exactly like what we see in the other video. I think it's completely possible that a coastal weapon could have been deployed and actually made that happen. But journalist Linda Rodriguez McRobbie thinks that the mysterious flames on the water are not the work of the military, but of pirates. This particular area is known for oil piracy or oil smuggling. Indonesia imports more than 236,000 barrels of crude oil a day. Because it has no international pipelines, every last drop arrives by tanker. And this precious cargo is vulnerable to buccaneers. Between 2015 and 2020, there were over 250 reported attacks. In January of 2022, a tanker was anchored off of the coast of Sulawesi. Masked pirates arrived in speedboats armed with machetes. The pirates seize the crew, move the tanker, and siphon off the oil. Smaller boats are used to offload the oil and bring it um, to its destination. There's a lot of spillages into the marine environment. The spills are not only deadly for marine life, when they ignite, it creates fireballs that can be lethal for humans. In 2018, Four fishermen are killed when a large oil slick off the coast of Indonesia catches fire, with the blaze reaching more than a mile high. Stealing oil is a messy business, and oil spillage seems most likely. Oil can still catch on fire even in water. Because oil is lighter than water, it floats on the surface, and if something ignites it, the flame will remain until it burns itself out. If the oil piracy in this region continues, it could turn Indonesia into a very different kind of vacation hotspot. Flaming water is gonna ruin my day at the beach. 